Yeah. Here it is, sir. Yeah. Right, what? Right here. I got it. Okay. What you gonna do? You gonna get it? There you go. Woo! There he is! Oh. I think we hooked into something there. We pulled up. This line hasn't been in the water three minutes. We are hooked up with something. I don't know what it is, but I know it's kind of, it's got some size to it. Oh, we had a backlash in the reel. He was burning so much line off of it so fast. It's coming to us now. Almost broke the fish off. It's not done yet. Day of uh, there he is. There we go. We got some we got a big amberjack. Looks like We're calling the shot now. It hit. He smoked 200 yards. Look at that barracuda right there. He he's he burned 200 yards the line off this reel in about 10 seconds. Look at the size of that barracuda. <laughs> he saw the big splash behind the boat. And line wasn't in the water. We just pulled up out here. Line wasn't in the water five minutes. We threw a big live bait out there and just slow trolled it. And it was on. Oh, I'm getting my morning workout this morning. And I don't know if everybody can see it, but there is fish just all up under the boat. As I look down in the water, ooh, he's a pig. Uh -huh. got to keep their head up. They get that head down and they just go. They go wherever they want to. Oh, see. Oh. Look at all the fish in the water down there, Jerry. We got barracudas, Jack Bell, Amber Jack. Doing short pumps on this fish. 
Just trying to tire him out before he tires me out. Ah, oh, he's pretty big. Try to get his head down and go back Yes, sir. <laughs> Man. Amber tack. That's Man. a 30 pound amber tack all day long. Oh. Say, brother. I say that was a workout. That is a pig right there. A absolute pig. Jerry, I think I'm going to let this fish go. We'll catch us another one. Sounds oh. good to me. Man, that was awesome right off the bat. Yeah. get them revived you know not only does it wear you out to catch a fish like this but it it wears the fish out too and so we try to revive them get the water back flowing through their gills make sure he's gonna swim off good and healthy Bye bye, brother. Now he swims to fight another day. See the barracuda? Yeah, I think that barracuda is going to make a meal out of him. Nope. They, won't, they don't generally mess with fish that big. You going to catch the cuda? Yeah, I want to catch him. That's what I want to catch. Be the first for me. Mmm. Every little bit of line I gain, it takes it right back. Just like that. We literally, we've just been here just a matter of minutes. And we've already hooked two. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one's a good fish as well. We know Cash got a good one. There she goes. Keep my rod tip up. I think we're gonna make the call that uh this is probably an AJ. Just because of the way when we get it close to the boat, the way it's making these long, deep dives straight for the bottom. Yeah, AJ.
It's a small one. That's all right. We'll take that. Here we go. Nice little small amberjack. Caught out here. Uh, we're off the coast of Kirabel, Florida. Fishing with uh, Captain Cody Cash. Just give him a call. You can come out here and catch fish just like this. We're going to let this pretty little baby go back. Look at that barracuda right there. He's coming to check him out, too. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that. He's got him. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That bar that barracuda ate. They're eating that amberjack that I just turned loose. I'd have put that fish in the box if I'd have known that was gonna happen. Welcome to Pickett's Landing in beautiful Carabelle, Florida. This gated resort community, offering three and four bedroom luxury townhomes, is located on the Carabelle River and is the perfect place to vacation this summer. Each unit has its own elevator and is over 2,200 square feet. Beautifully decorated with bazillion red cherry wood floors spacious rooms with vaulted ceilings. A gourmet kitchen fully equipped is waiting for you to cook the day's fresh catch. Relax while enjoying the view of the Carabelle River from your private deck. The swimming pool and clubhouse are a great place to entertain friends and family. The private deep water marina with access to the gulf is fully loaded with everything you need to keep your boat or yacht. Pickett's Landing is Carabelle's premier resort destination. Let's fight some mangrove snapper. Man, they're awesome eating, awesome fighting. This is a small one by our standards, but big. If you've ever fished in South Florida, you've seen these suckers around the docks. We've got them growing up here. This is some of the best eating you can find anywhere on the Gulf Coast. They've got a high bag limit. There's not the seasons on them. There are on regular um, red snapper. And man, they are good eating. I love them. And these suckers are ferocious, ferocious fish right there. Another one for the box. Singing, that's, that's the song you want to hear when you ride 30 miles out. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Yeah. First uh, snapper, mango, mangrove snapper, right there, baby. <laughs> Got teeth on them. Do not lip one of these if you do catch one. That's my first right there. Thank you, Captain Cash. I said this is some of the best eating. Uh, mango madness. 
That's a good one here, Jerry. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah. There we go. Heck yeah, there's another one sitting quite a quite a huge one. He's probably a good seven, eight pound fish. We've got some out here, 14, 15 pounds. I've caught them before. They're hard to catch. These are very smart fish, very smart fish. You have to use small hooks, light tackle, and that's what makes it so challenging on this light tackle. I mean, they can break you off in a blink of an eye, but it makes it a lot of fun, a lot of fun. They're pulling on your string there? Yeah. Get them up. Man, have you been catching them that's pulling like this? I mean, that's unreal. Yeah. You seem to reel yours in faster than me. Well, you might have a stud, dude. I've been caught several like that. <clears throat> There you go. Come on. One thing I've learned, they're not the easiest thing to catch, but Captain Cody Cash targets them. Knows how to get you hooked up on them. See any bit of a hook, line, I mean anything, it just pokes them. There it comes, right there. Look at that. some of the biggest ones around. Part of the snapper family, gonna eat good like the rest of the snapper family. Look at the size of the tail on that fish. That's the reason it has so much power. I mean, that's, that's my hand, and I'm not saying I have a huge hand, but that tail is seven inches long. That's the reason these fish fight so hard. The way we have to catch them on light tackle, it uh, makes it even more of a challenge. Yeah, it makes it very challenging. I've been told the limit on these are 10 per person, and uh, man, we've caught our share of them today. And uh, a good eating fish, plenty of them out here. Um, another one for the box. And I can't thank my buddy, Captain Cody Cash, enough to put me on these awesome fish today. So, hey, we're gonna have a good fish fry. Let me introduce you to the unique cooking experience of the Fry Baby. This is actually a portable kitchen. It snaps together in mere minutes. Very easy to transport. Take it with you on your next trip. It has a lifetime warranty. If it ever burns into or rusts into, we'll replace it. So what makes it so unique? First off, we start off with bread and our food we're going to cook. Take your bread material, put it down in your bucket. You have your grate there. We can bread our material and then shake the loose bread material back down in the bucket. All right, we take our lid off. It goes right back here on the back of your fry baby. Take our basket. We do not cook in the basket. The basket goes up on the back. Now we can take our food out of our bread bucket, put it in our oil, which this will hold one to two gallons of oil. As the food gets done, we take it out and put it up in our basket. It will drain and you don't have cooked food draining on cooked food. I can cook my fish, my fries, my hush puppies all at one time if I want to. Next morning we get up, we're hungry. 
We want breakfast. We've got to fry, baby. So we move our grill griddle up here. We take our oil, put it here on our shelf. So we take our griddle. Now I can do my eggs, my sausage, my bacon, my pancakes. We get through with breakfast and we're ready to go fishing again. So we go fishing, we come back in that evening and we're hungry again. So we take our fry baby and it converts into a grill. Now I can grill my hamburgers, my steak, whatever I want. You cook faster, you cook cheaper, you cook healthier, you cook with less oil. And it's made right here in the good old U.S. of A. Well, I'm just going to try to get something to come up here. Yeah! Woo! Uh, I threw the plug out there into a school of probably a couple hundred fish. Man, they annihilated it. They freaking annihilated it. If you think of this is the way, woo! Oh, if I land this fish, it's gonna be a miracle, folks. At least 40 pounds, I caught them on top. And when you catch an AJ on top, they go all the way to the bottom. This only top water plug up. Talk to Frank. We got him. Oh, here we go. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yes, <laughs> Woo! That's how we do it down here in Caravel, folks. Top water plug and amber jack. Uh, Adrenaline packed action. I call it my fishing adventures for a reason. It's always an adventure. Whew, fish like that'll show up, baby. You catch a fish like that on top water, see him come up and crush that plug, it does something for your heart and your soul. God, there's fish everywhere. There's a shark hot on his tail too, brother. Yeah. Come on, release, release. Come on. We got a shark trying to eat our jack. That's an amber jack. Actually, there was a shark behind him. That's AJ right there. There's a shark. There's three sharks on him right now. Three sharks circling him. Look at that big one down there. Oh my bolt. gosh, look. There he Watch is. This. Watch this, Jerry. Get over here. Over. Oh, we got him. That is a bull shark eating our Jack Gravel. And uh, he plug. Did you see that? No, I got the plug, brother. Watch oh, this. we got a plug. Watch this. Watch we this. have worked up a frenzy. That shark came in here and ate the Jack, the Amber Jack. I mean, this is a feeding frenzy. Oh, my. Look at all of them, look at all of them. Look at all the sharks that are in here. Look at that, whoa, on. Oh no, amberjack on. Oh, shark tapper, shark tapper. Oh man, the shark got our amberjack. Oh, no, he ain't, he's chasing. He's, he's on chasing his butt. Him. He's going deep, I'm trying to get him up. If he goes deep, that shark is gonna eat him for sure. Oh my God. What do you do? What do you do? Whew. That rod has earned it. Well, that's going to wind us down, folks. We had a great time out here. Couldn't ask for better weather. You couldn't ask for a better fishing trip. 
and you too can do the same thing. Just give Captain Cody Cash a call today. Book your charter today with My Fishing Adventures. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Hope to see you right back here next weekend.